How exciting. Another uh, DHL package from Shenzhen. So let's take a look inside. Oh, I got some green, green special tape. Uh, whoops, upside down. <laughs> if you can read Chinese. Uh, that means central, I think. Central something or other. Anyway. Uh, where should I open it? Okay. This box is, box is pretty heavy. Uh, ordered a few boards. Uh, let's, um, here we go. Uh, yeah, three boards. Uh, first board is a uh, Kim Uno. I'm going to put those back on eBay. Uh, some people were asking for them, so I'll do that. Um, probably, not, uh, probably not for a couple weeks, though. I'm going on vacation, so um, probably next month uh, those will go up on eBay. Uh, this is the latest... Uh, new boards for the uh, TTL project, TTL CPU project. And, oh, this is a big board. Uh, this is what's heavy. Uh, this is the Zeta, uh, Zeta SBC version 2. Um, CPM. SZ100 uh, CPM computer. Looks pretty nice. Uh... Why don't I open these up and we'll zoom in and uh, take a look. Okay, um, let's see here. I'll do them in the order I showed them the first time. Um, these are the uh, Kim Uno boards. So you've seen these before. Um, let's see how many they gave me. Two, four, six, eight, ten. So ten of those. I'll be putting those up on eBay uh, next month. Uh, uh, oops. This is the, uh, let's see, what's on here? Uh, the ALU with the uh, correct uh, orientation of the bits. Uh, the comparator uh, with the correct orientation and adding the uh, zero flag on the same board. A couple indicators. Oh yeah, and the hex display, so uh, that'll be cool. Uh, build one of those up. Uh, I got clever and put some uh, silk screen on the back, and I kind of ignore that. It's free. They um, they don't charge any extra for for silk screen on the back, and I just kind of ignore it. I always have just put silk screen on the front, but uh, I was kind of running out of room here, and I've got two pins here. One is um, blanking, and one is latch. So I put the label on the on the bottom. The only tricky the only tricky part about that is when you uh, add text to the uh, back layer, you have to invert it. It has to be the mirror image because um, it, it's as you're looking from the top, so uh, just be aware of that. So, uh, and I uh, have it routed out, so just to make a couple of cuts on that one. That's pretty cool. Yeah, let's look at, the, look at this bad boy here. Wow, this thing's big. Uh, in fact, it doesn't, doesn't even make the, make the camera there. There we go. Um, yeah, very nice. Uh, there's a RS-232 connector, and then all of the Z80 chips, ROM and RAM, even a real-time clock. Um, and uh, the uh, uh, coin cell battery over here not only runs the real-time clock, but it does battery backup for the uh, RAM, so the RAM is non-volatile. Uh, it has a flash RAM for programming, but it, the RAM itself can also be battery backed up, so it doesn't forget when you turn it off. So, quite a nice board. Um, yeah. Somebody, somebody did a really good job laying out the board as well. Uh, um, so definitely want to build one of those. Uh, let's see how many they gave me of these. Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. See, I got one extra. Uh, so eleven of these. If I build one, I can put. Uh, uh, ten of them up on eBay, um, 
people want to build their own. Um, yeah, very cool. It's going to take a while to get all the parts for this thing. They're kind of strange parts. The, if you go to the website, if you go to uh, www.malinov.com, uh, um, he gives you all of the parts, complete parts list and where to buy them. A lot, I think almost everything's available from either Jameco or, or Mauser. And he gives you the part numbers and, and hot links um, for all of those things. So it's easy easy to get the parts. You just have to spend some time ordering them. Uh, I'll see what I have. I know there's an 8255 on here. I've got some of those in the garage. Um, I'll take a look at some of the other things. Uh, I think I have some um, two, 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 Max 232 chips. Um, I have bought some of the chips already at the local um, the local junk store. Uh, I have a uh, I have a bag of bag of parts here. Uh, I'm able to buy ICs at a, a surplus store for 25 cents. So um, they're a bunch of LS parts. Uh, so 25 cents I thought was uh, uh, cheaper than I can get them on uh, DigiKey. So bought them there. And then I got some um, uh, oscillator cans, uh, the metal. Let me take one out. Uh, these metal can, metal can oscillators. Uh, can I just move right there? I can a little bit. Uh, so there's uh, little ones and big ones. So this this board requires uh, three different uh, three different oscillators. Uh, I believe the CPU oscillator, the real-time clock oscillator, and the floppy disk drive controller oscillator. So they, uh, this PC board is laid out to accept either uh, the the full-length versions or the little or the little short ones. So it'll take either one. Very nice, very nice PC board design. Um, so I've got all the oscillators I need. Uh, I've got all of the small TTL parts that I need. I just need the big uh, uh, the big chips. I probably won't load some of them. I don't think I'm going to load the uh, floppy disk controller. I, I just don't care about that. Um, I believe you don't have to load the real time clocks. I can leave that off. Um, so I, I do need to place an order though for the. Uh, it, it's a special C, a fast CPU. I need to. I think probably have a Z80, but it's probably a two megahertz. So. Um, Get a CP uh, Z80. Um, I think it uses a um, certain UART chip that I don't have, and then the flash ROM and the uh, and the RAM chips. Uh, those are probably pretty cheap. Yeah, looking forward to that. But I got to stay focused on my CPU computer. <laughs> I have a tendency to do that. I get uh, part part way through a project and I kind of lose interest so I need to make sure make sure that I finish this one off I need to at least get it running uh, actual programming and uh, I would like to get to a point where we're actually writing assembly language for it so um, I might actually be writing a compiler uh, might even be get some help from a friend to uh, write a, a, an actual uh, a compiler uh, with the instruction set that I invent um, I know I can do that in fourth that would be very, very easy to do in fourth. Um, but I'll probably do it in something like uh, uh, some type of uh, header file for the um, uh, uh, Atmel parts. <laughs> just have, just be fake and just do f fake assembly language. Um, yeah. All right.